What is the purpose of a MAC address in networking? Choose one. Is it A, to identify a device's physical location? Is it B, to encrypt data transmitted over the network? Is it C, to uniquely identify a network interface? Or is it D, to determine the speed of the network connection? And now, five seconds. And the correct answer is C, to uniquely identify a network interface. A MAC address is a hardware address assigned to a network interface for identification. Think of a MAC address like a fingerprint for a device on a network. And for the incorrect answers, to identify a device's physical location, MAC addresses don't determine location, encryption is not the primary role of a MAC address, and the speed is determined by other factors. And for the next question for exam, question number two. And the question states, what printer issue might cause paper to repeatedly jam during printing? Choose two. Is it A, long ink levels? Is it B, fuser malfunction? Is it C, outdated printer driver? Or is it D, paper tray misalignment? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are B and D, fuser malfunction and paper tray misalignment. A fuser malfunction and paper tray misalignment can cause frequent paper jams. Think of a fuser malfunction as a hot roller causing paper to stick. And for the incorrect answers, low ink levels don't affect paper jams, and driver issues affect functionality, not paper jams. And for the next question of our exam, question number three. And the question states, what mobile device feature allows users to install and update applications? Choose one. Is it A, App Store? Is it B, NFC? Is it C, Email Number? Or is it D, GPS? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is A, App Store. An App Store provides a platform to discover, download, and update apps. Think of an App Store like a digital marketplace for applications. And for the incorrect answers, NFC enables short-range data exchange, not app installation. EMEI is a device identifier unrelated to app installation, and GPS provides location information, not app updates. And for the next question of our exam, question number four. And the question states, which hardware component temporarily stores data the CPU is actively using? Choose one. Is it A, hard drive? Is it B, SSD? Is it C, RAM? Or is it D, ROM? In now five seconds. And the correct answer is C, RAM. RAM or random access memory stores data actively used by the CPU. Think of RAM as a workspace where the CPU performs calculations. And for the incorrect answers, hard drives store data, but not actively use data. SSDs are a type of storage, not active data storage. And ROM or read-only memory contains firmware and is not for active data storage. And for the next question for exam, question number five. And the question states, what is a common function of a hypervisor in virtualization? Choose two. Is it A, to manage hardware resources? Is it B, to allocate IP addresses? Is it C, to encrypt data? Or is it D, to create backups? And now five seconds. And the correct answers are A and B, to manage hardware resources and to allocate IP addresses. A hypervisor manages hardware resources and creates virtual machines. A hypervisor can allocate IP addresses to virtual machines. Imagine a hypervisor like a traffic cop directing resources to VMs. And for the incorrect answers, encryption is not the primary function of a hypervisor, and backups are related to data protection, not virtualization. And for the next question of our exam, question number six. And the question states, what is the main benefit of cloud computing for businesses? Choose two. Is it A, reduced electricity costs? Is it B, increased physical hardware requirements? Is it C, scalable resources? Or is it D, enhanced local storage? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are C and D. Scalable resources and enhanced local storage. Cloud computing offers scalable resources and off-site storage options. Think of cloud computing as renting storage and resources in the sky. And for the incorrect answers, cloud costs can vary and are not always cheaper, and cloud reduces hardware requirements. And for the next question of our exam, question number seven. And the question states, what operational procedure helps protect data during unexpected power loss? Choose one. Is it A, disk cleanup? Is it B, surge protection? Is it C, firmware update? Or is it D, file compression? You now have five seconds.
And the correct answer is B, surge protection. Surge protection safeguards devices from power spikes during outages. Think of surge protection as a shield against electrical surges. And for the incorrect answers, this cleanup frees up storage space unrelated to power loss, updates fix vulnerabilities, not power loss protection, and compression reduces file size unrelated to power loss. And for the next question of our exam, question number eight. And the question states, what hardware component converts AC power from an outlet to DC power for the computer's components? Choose one. Is it A, CPU? Is it B, PSU? Is it C, RAM? Or is it D, GPU? You now have five seconds. And the correct answer is B, PSU. A PSU, or a power supply unit, converts power to the proper form for components. Think of a PSU as a power translator for the computer. And for the incorrect answers, CPU processes data, not power conversion. RAM stores active data, unrelated to power conversion. And GPU processes graphics, unrelated to power conversion. And for the next question of our exam, question number 9. And the question states, what is the primary purpose of a firewall in network security? Choose two. Is it A, encrypting data traffic? Is it B, preventing unauthorized access? Is it C, allocating IP addresses? Or is it D, scanning for viruses? You now have five seconds. And the correct answers are B and D, preventing unauthorized access and scanning for viruses. Firewalls block unauthorized access and scan for threats. Imagine a firewall as a security guard controlling who enters a building. And for the incorrect answers, encryption is not a primary firewall function and IP allocation is not a firewall task. And for the last question of our exam, question number 10. And the question states, what operational procedure can help improve computer performance by removing unnecessary files? Choose two. Is it A, installing additional RAM? Is it B, updating the BIOS? Is it C, defragmentation? Or is it D, creating a system restore point? Now, five seconds. And the correct answers are A and C, installing additional RAM and defragmentation. Adding RAM and defragmenting can enhance system performance. Think of adding RAM as increasing your workspace and defragmenting as reorganizing files. And for the incorrect answers, BIOS updates fix issues but don't directly boost performance, and restore points are for recovery, not performance. Don't forget to read all the questions carefully. Don't rush and make sure you fully understand what is presented in the exam. Take your time to memorize all the acronyms and what they represent. Also make sure to go through the exam's objectives from the CONTIA official website so you know what subjects to expect on your exam day. For a more comprehensive list of exams, you can check my Udemy instructor channel where I've posted a number of exams for the CONTIA A+. The tests consist of 90 questions each and they are very similar to the official CONTIA exams. The link to my Udemy channel is presented down in the channel's description. Ladies and gents, this is the end of our exam. If and only if you found this video informative, make sure to drop a sub and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace!